I'm Bella Diaz here at the Lakeland Ice Arena and you're watching Night Vision. I'm here at one of Lakeland's hotspots and with the holidays coming up, skating is a great way to spend your free time with friends and family. However, the ice skating rink isn't the only hotspot in Lakeland. Let's go north of town with Lila and Courtney to see another one of Lakeland's attractions. Hey guys, it's Lila. And it's Courtney and we're here at Lake Crago. Lake Crago is just one of Lakeland's mini lakes. It's special and here's why. Lake Crago and its facility is on 50 acres of land. It's also Lakeland's only water facility. Since it's Lakeland's only water facility, it has to be special in some way, right? That's right, Lake Crago offers kayak, canoe, and paddle rentals. It also offers classrooms, special space, and much more in its 12,000 square foot facility. Let's go see what else is here. Lake Crago also has a public boat ramp. So you can bring out your boat and have a nice and refreshing day with your family and friends. Lake Crago has its own dog park. It's open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you should come here to have a dog on the town with your dog. Now you know of one of the many great places here in Lakeland to visit with your family and friends. We hope to see you here again soon. Back to you. Thanks girls. If you're a sweets lover, there's a new place in South Lakeland just for you. Hey Knights, we're here at Twisted Sugar located on South Florida Avenue. Twisted Sugar opened up here in Lakeland a few months ago back in April. We came here to figure out everything that you're going to need to know for your next visit. Twisted Sugar has a wide selection of treats, from their signature cookies, two of which are Twisted Sugar and Omeo Peanut Butter, their indulgent cookies, which some include salted caramel sugar, key lime pie, and my personal favorite, Swizzle Sugar, and their gluten-free option, a completely customizable sugar cookie decorated with any icing and topping of your choice. Twisted Sugar sells cookies from $2.75 to $3.50, but they also have a six-pack from $17, a whole dozen for $30. Twisted Sugar is also known for their notorious sodas and other drinks. Their beverage menu starts out with some basic sodas, such as Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, and Coke. But they also allow customers to create their own drinks and add flavors of their choice. Vanilla, fresh fruits, cream, lime. The list does not end there. The best seller is cookies and cream. But there are over 20 flavors for you to choose from. The best one here is obviously lemon tart. No, it's definitely Salsa Sugar. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna let you guys settle this. Why don't you come on down to Twisted Sugar and find out what the best flavor is. I'm Tim Min. And I'm Immortal for Night Vision. But like, I'm obviously right. Yum, those tasty treats look scrumptious, but if you're planning on eating a lot of them, I would definitely suggest getting some exercise. Speaking of exercise, I'm here with Jack and Brayden who get their exercise right here at the Lake and Ice Arena. How long have you both been skating? I've uh, been skating for like six years. Like eight. And what's your favorite thing about playing hockey? Uh, probably like seeing my friends and teammates and hanging out with them. Oh, uh, you get to hit people. So are you both really competitive? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. do not like losing. Yeah, same. All. What's the best part about playing hockey? Uh, that you get to travel a lot see new places, meet new people. And if someone was looking to skate here, why would you suggest they come here? Because it feels like family and there's a bunch of things to do here. The open skate and the public skates and the learn to skate. They got food here. You Pro can shop. learn how to skate. And our coaches are always here if you want to ask questions. If you're looking to get on the ice, come check out the Lakeland Ice Arena on West Memorial Boulevard here in Lakeland. For more information, call 863-608-7335. One of our own LCMA sports team is wrapping up their season. Here's Trevin with more. Thanks, Bella. With the girls' volleyball season wrapping up, we want to know what happened. So I sat down with Coach Seacrest to hear our thoughts on the season. What were your expectations going into the season, and did they exceed them? Um, my expectations were that the girls would grow in their knowledge as well as their skill level and be prepared to play any opponent that we faced. We have met a lot of my expectations, but we're still not there yet. But season's not over. What are your views on the girls' academic performance outside of volleyball? I expect them to be the top in their class as well as behaviorally because I consider the time that I put into them an investment. So they must invest into themselves and their futures to make themselves more 
sellable for their future college performance that they would like to do. Student athlete is always students the first part. Thank you for your time. We'll be back right after this. Hey Knights, I'm Delaney. And I'm Erin. And this is your 411. Today is Crazy Socks Day. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, if you missed today, then you have the rest of the week to show your holiday spirit. We'll be back right after this. Congratulations to the following students who placed in the science fair. Tonight is our boys basketball game against Kathleen Middle School. Good luck to both JV and Varsity. Speaking of sports, the Tampa Bay Lightning are playing in the MLA Arena in Tampa. They are playing against the Seattle Krakens on Wednesday. And that's your 411. Back to you. Man, it's cold in here, but I don't see any snow. As most of you probably know, we live in Florida, which means we don't encounter snow much down here. In northern states, snow is made during the water cycle, but it's in its precipitation stage. Below and in the clouds has to be below 32 degrees, so the little bits of water are frozen and turned into ice, and then eventually they gain enough weight to fall down from the clouds, and then they're more, more like little ninja stars of ice instead of water. Here in Lakeland, we don't have real snow, but we do have Lakeside Village. The snow there is made through the process of little bits of ice being shot out of a machine to mimic snowflakes, or in other cases, a mobile machine can be used. All of these ways can lead to endless hours of fun, but only one can lead to hypothermia. So, if you don't feel like taking the trek up to the north, feel free to enjoy the bubbles. Hypothermia? Pronounce hypothermia, a dangerous drop in body temperature. She fell into the freezing water and nearly died from hypothermia. Well, it's getting really cold in here and I don't want to get hypothermia, so I think it's time to go. Have a great rest of your day. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock.